ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਆਈ ਵਾਰਮਲੀ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਐਂਟਾਇਰ ਸੰਗਤ ਟੂ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਅਟੈਂਡੀਸ ਇਨ ਟੁਡੇਸ ਟਾਕ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੀਅਸਲੀ ਵੀ ਟਾਕਡ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਅਟੈਚਮੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਵੀਕ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਡਿਟੈਚਮੈਂਟ ਦ ਰੂਟ ਆਫ ਸਫਰਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਅਟੈਚਮੈਂਟ the more we are attached to something the more we will get suffer the more we will get pain the amount of attachment we have according to that the suffering also we will get in the same quantity or in the same amount so suffering and attachments are all together or we can say flip of a coin we discussed a lot about attachment so everyone says or lots of philosophers talked about attachment and everyone just says this is a root of suffering the more attachment more suffering less attachment less suffering according to that but then nourishment of a kid of the child is also needed and that is only possible with attachment if mother is not attached to her child she will not take care so attachment is needed as well as guru amar das ji also says about this jin mo मीठा लाया मीठा मीन स्वीट अटैचमेंट इज गुड आई सैक्रिफाइस माय सेल्फ टू द वन हु मेड दिस अटैचमेंट सो स्वीट सो देयर आर टू थॉट्स वन जस्ट सेस रूट ऑफ सफरिंग इज अटैचमेंट गुरु अमरदास जी सेस अटैचमेंट इज नीडेड फॉर द नरिशमेंट ऑफ अ चाइल्ड ऑफ किड attachment is needed to make any kind of any relations if we are not attached to someone we will not take care about it so a lot more we discussed about attachment and this is sweet as well now again we will go little ahead what gurbani says about this so attachment maya moh sagal jag chhaya कामन देख काम लो पाया सुत कंचन सियो हेत वधाया सब किछ अपना एक राम पर आया सो ब्यूटीफुल गुरबानी टीचस अस एवरीथिंग सो ब्यूटीफुल सो जस्ट नाउ वी जस्ट हैड अ लिटिल बिट ब्रीफ इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट अटैचमेंट एंड डिटैचमेंट एवरीवन सेस attachment is suffering guru amar das ji also says attachment is needed as well and there are many quotations about attachment is a uh, versus as well attachment is demerit as well so we will try to understand all those things in today's topic maya moh sagal jag chhaya kamman dekh kaam lobhaya maya moh moh means attachment माया मोह सगल जग छाया सगल जग मींस इन एंटायर वर्ल्ड वी कैन से ऑल आर जस्ट सफरिंग फ्रॉम द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अटैचमेंट कामन देख काम लोभ आया वी आर अटैच्ड टू ब्यूटी वी आर अटैच्ड टू मेल फीमेल इन ऑल अदर थिंग्स इवन वी आर सो मच अटैच्ड to our clothes as well to our mobile phone to our jackets and all other things i know many people those who are very much attached to specific clothes so they just say like this shirt is my favorite if i lose it oh my god i don't know what will happen too much attachment with dogs in today's world we can say so attachment is there in a small or on a big part but yes this is there sut kanchan syo het vadhaya sut means sun kanchan means gold 
So sut means son, means our love, our attachment for family is increasing on daily basis. Sut kantansyo, sut kanchansyo, het vadhaya. Sab kichi apna ik ram paraya. We are so much attached to all other things, just except one thing that is Lord. Yes. Attachment is needed on the path of Lord. Attachment is needed on the path of Almighty. Attachment is needed with the Seva, with Simran, with all these things, but we are on the opposite door. But we are attached to money. I'm not against money. Gurbani is never against money. We're just trying to understand about the concept of attachment and detachment today. So we have so much time or we can say we are ready to spend three hours to watch a movie. We are ready to spend our 10 or 20 hours to watch a web series. But if someone will say, let's go to Gurudwara and spend 30 minutes or 40 minutes, we may say, you just go, I don't want to go. Or I have some work. I'll pray just from here. God listens everywhere. God is everywhere. God is omnipresent. I don't want to go. Or we try to find some excuses. Sometimes it is hard to say. It's so difficult to say no, but we don't want to. If someone say, let's do some Simran. Let's do part. Let's do some Seva in Gurudwara. Let's go to Gurudwara. We try to find some excuses. But if someone will invite us to go to a club, or to a party, to a movie, to watch a web series, or something else. Then we manage our time as well. We may leave something important. We may take a leave from our office, but we want to go. So, sabkichi apna. We have time for all other things, for our family, for health, for wealth, for exercise. Ik ram paraya. Rab apna nahi lagda. Go doesn't seem to my own. We don't feel like God is also needed. Very beautifully, Gurbani teaches us. Sabki chapna, whatever God is giving, everything seems it's my. I am the owner. It belongs to me. Ik Ram, if it's about God, if it's about any religious activities, paraya. I don't want to do it. I can spend 10 hours in a day with my family, but 10 minutes to read Japji Sahib, to recite Japji Sahib Subhani, it may look long. We may ready to spend hours and hours on Instagram or all other websites or social sites, but doing Kirtan Sohila at night before we go to bed, it may seem difficult. But we may ready to spend many minutes or hours before we sleep to social media. I know many people, I saw many people who spend, they just say before I was just about to sleep. So I thought like last 10, 15 minutes, I can scroll it down. But in Soila Sab, there are just five shabas. It will take hardly five minutes, hardly. Still, we are busy. Okay, let's go ahead. Maya moh sagal jag chaya, kaman dekh kaam lo paaya, sut kanchan seo het vadhaya, sab kichi apna ik ram paraya. We much so much, we are so much attached to all other things. That is why we are not able to remember God. We are not able to meditate on the name of Lord. So this is what all saints, sages also got the same idea. They also understood the same problem that we are so much busy in all other material things. And so then they thought to leave the family to whom we say sannyasi. So they also find it the same way because of we are giving too much time to family, other things. So we are so much attached to family. So then they decided earlier sages used to went to forest, to hill, and they used to leave their family at their house and they left and go to any forest, hills and all other mountains. 
so then again gurbani teaches us about that concept as well kabir maya taji ta kya paya jo maan tajya nahi jaye maan muni muni var gale maan sabhai ko khaye people on hills became sanyasi but problem was not family problem was attachment so what happened in the, in that case people left their family people left their children child wife parents and thought now we will not get too much attached to our family members but what happened then kabir maya taji ta kya paya jo maan tajya nahi jaye then later they used to say they started saying i left my family for walking on the path of almighty i left my kingdom i left my money i left my wife i left my son i left all my wealth to walk on the path of almighty see what a great person i am so what happened then ego arised they got ego so problem was ego problem was attachment not family so then they much got much attached to this concept i left so many things see how great i am i left my family so again then attachment was not with family then they got attached with their ego so problem was still there because problem is attachment not family not health not wealth not wife no son no kid no parent problem was attachment so they left their family attached to their ego and still it was problem they did not reach to the level where they wanted to so what happened man muni muni var gale man sabha ko khaye so they left maya but they did not left man they did not left me i me myself earlier they used to say i have family then they used to say i left my family i was there so problem was i problem was i me myself and attachment they did not get the solution i left my family problem was there man muni muni var gale man muni even all those saints sage sages man sabha ko khai because of pride even after leaving everything still they did not get anything they may went to garland they went to forest and hills but still ego was there so who is the real sanyasi so gurbani teaches us about that so sanyasi जो सतगुरु सेवा है आप गवाए आप मींस मी आई मी माई सेल्फ सो अटैचमेंट शुड रिमूव फ्रॉम मी अटैचमेंट इज गुड फॉर द नरिशमेंट ऑफ फैमिली और अटैचमेंट इज गुड टू टेक केयर ऑफ फैमिली बट व्हाट हैपेंस द प्रॉब्लम इज व्हेन वी जस्ट स्टार्ट लुकिंग ओवर आवर फैमिली ओनली इन द अटैचमेंट मदर वॉन्ट्स health and wealth for her child not for the neighbor's child she want all good things for her own son not for someone else so that is why this is the problem and we no need to go outside no need to leave this world no need to leave our family guru gobind singh ji also says about this re man aiso kar sanyasa it's a game of heart of our mind not the body we need to remember re man guru gobind singh ji emphasizes not to body to mind re man aiso kar sanyasa if you want to get into sanyas so how to do or what is the way re man aiso kar sanyasa ban se sadan sabhai kar samjho man hi mahe udasa बन से सदन सब है कर समझो लिव इन योर हाउस लाइक यू आर लिविंग इन फॉरेस्ट 
just keep few things in the mind stay happy stay with the family take care of all those things but keep one thing in the mind the one thing is nothing is permanent ja rehna nahi at jag ta kayat gar bhandiya we are not here here for forever if we are attached to family they will leave hard to listen difficult to speak but this is true no one will live here forever we knows about it we need to go something nothing is permanent whatever we have whatever we have attained whatever is in our life or in our mind everything will go some day somehow nothing is permanent जा रहना ना ही एत जग ता कायत गारब हंडी है सो नाउ गुरबानी टीच अस इफ यू नो यू आर नॉट हियर फॉर फॉरएवर सो व्हाई यू आर कीप इंक्रीजिंग योर बॉन्ड व्हाई यू आर कीप इंक्रीजिंग योर फीलिंग्स फॉर समथिंग व्हाई यू आर गेटिंग सो मच क्लोज टू थिंग्स यू हैव टू लीव सम डे टू प्रिपेयर योर माइंड try to get some disconnection disengagement some coolness yes definitely it's not for forever maya mamta hai bahurangi bin na ve ko saath na sangi maya mamta hai bahurangi there are different forms of attachment we may get attached to our dresses we may get attached to our cars we may get attached to our family house health wealth or all other things even small small things people get attached to a small very small things to their utensils they may like to eat in the same utensils to their shoes to their jackets to their shirts So there are different kind of things where we get attached and we don't want that thing to go far from us this is how problem begins the more we are attached so we want that thing permanent in our life if we love someone if we are attached to something we want them or that thing to stay in our life for forever maybe our wife parent son kid anything maya mamta hai bohrangi so there are different colors forms of maya and attachment but gurbani again telling us bin na ve ko saath na sangi except the name everyone will leave you so must give your time to name as well must give some time must give your precious time to the thing that is much 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 needed so gurbani teaches us about that as well so then the question comes so attachment is also needed detachment is also needed both things are there जो नर दुख में दुख नहीं मानना है सुख सने अर पह नहीं जाके कंचन माटी मानना वंस आई जस्ट शेयर अ स्टोरी ओके आफ्टर दिस डेफिनेशन वी विल एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड मोर सो डिटैचमेंट इज पार्ट और ऑफ आवर लाइफ डिटैचमेंट इज टू एक्सेप्ट एवरीथिंग इट्स नॉट लाइक बीइंग रूड टू योर फैमिली मेंबर्स बीइंग रूड टू ऑल अदर थिंग्स whatever is coming most welcome but if something is going back we need to be calm in attachment what we say this is this belongs to me i belongs to this thing it should always remain with me so once it goes even our family member anything car bungalow money health wealth position or any rank we are not able to digest so we become so root we become so angry so nothing will happen what we need to do is to stay calm in every kind of situation that is called detachment even its happiness if we can smile in sad in pain also if we can smile in the same way so that is the thing okay 
once upon a time a sikh named pai kedara asked to guru arjan sahib ji guru sahib ji also discussing and doing katha performing katha about detachment and attachment so guru arjun sahib also used to do katha sometimes and pai gurdas ji used to do katha regularly in manji hall shri amritsar sahib so someone asked to guru arjun sahib maharaj you talked about detachment and attachment like we should remain same in both the situations which means we are detached if we are getting money okay if we lose it okay if we attained something all right if that thing is no more stay calm but okay that sik pai kedara said to guru arjun sahib ji it's possible for you it's not much hard for you we can understand we feel it but what about us a normal person a six like us can we also reach to that position or if i want to see a six of that level is it possible i am not talking about guru ji about you because you are at a different stage so we are trying to walk we are trying to walk on the path so is there any person available in this world except you so i would like to see he asked to guru arjan sahib ji so guru arjan sahib ji sent this pai gitara to gujarat he said okay you need to go to gujarat spend just two days there and then come back to me then we will discuss more about this situation about can we remain same in both of the situations pai kadara accepted it okay in two days is not so long i can go there and spend some time all right so then pai kadara went to gujarat and he reached and asked for the house of pai pekhari guru arjan sahib said go to pai pekhari's house stay there for two days and then come back so he looked for pai pekhari and finally he reached in the house of pai pekhari he met with their family members and just conveyed the message i came from uh, shri guru arjan sahib ji's place he sent me here and i want to spend a day or two at your place so all welcomed their family members welcomed pai kedara ji and he showed their interest pai kedara he want to meet pai pekhari ji so as soon he saw pai he saw pai pekhari ji he was dumbfounded he was surprised he was shocked the reason behind just few minutes before he saw the same person fighting in the market for one penny for one paisa the same person was fighting with a customer this shopkeeper named pai pekhari was fighting with the customer and saying if you will not pay me the entire amount i'll not let you take this desi ghee you are giving me one paisa less than the actual amount otherwise you may say you don't afford you cannot pay i'll give you as donation i'll give you as this one but if you are saying you want to pay me less than the actual amount i'm not going to take it either give me the entire money or leave this desi ghee here and go back take your money and go back this is how this pekhari was dealing with that customer for one paisa then this kedara ji so met him and just dumbfounded shocked like i came here to meet this person he did not say anything and just said okay let's see so then pai pekhari ji said okay just wash your hand and let's have dinner together then pai kedara said i wash my hands with desi ghee only i don't wash my hand with water i need desi ghee to wash my hand he said okay he pai pekhari ji used desi ghee as a water and helped him to wash his hands 
he was again shocked then he asked i saw you in market you were fighting for one paisa and now you did not think about amount or desi ghi why then pai bekhari ji said ke that was my work that was my business i just take care about my business as well and i do take care about my seva as well now i am doing seva at that time i was doing business so i try i try to be complete man while doing business i just do business while doing seva i just do seva still he did not get agree in the night pai kedara was just about to sleep and he was not able to sleep in the night and he just walking here and there and he saw pai pekhari ji was sewing some blankets some tappad some other things so he was just shocked and did not realize what is happening next morning some robbers came to this village and attacked and one shot what happened a shot from a gun killed son of pai pekhari they were preparing a lot of things it was a wedding day of his son and the same moment someone shooted and he shot dead then pai kedara asked pai pekhari ji because then many people came to their house so in the night he was just stitching some blankets so in the morning he used those things when other people came so then he realized he may aware about it but pai kedara was shocked before earlier he was just preparing for the wedding still he was smiling but after the son of the death of his son after the death of his son still he was keeping the same kind of face he was so shocked and finally he saw yes now i am able to see a person jo nar dukh mein dukh nahi manna sukh sne ar pa nahi ja ke kanchan maati manna he is same in both of the situations his son was about to get married he was okay then pai kedara asked why you did not perform why did you did not react he said he was his son he gave me i am okay he was his son he took it back it's okay he was not my son actually rab ne deta si rab ne le liya so i don't mind so the moment if we are not so much attached i know this is easy to say easy to listen but it's very difficult to be practical with the same thing in our life but we can start with small other things by saying jo tu dipave sai palikar tu sada salamat nirankar whatever you want everything is good whatever god is doing everything is all right i am just not able to understand if we can accept it so then definitely we can reach to the next position next stage so for that what we need to do we need to pray to lord al jal bikar taj sab har guna nit gao kar jod nanak dan mange de apna nao we are so much attached to all other things we must pray to god we must pray to lord and seek for his blessings so that we can also be more strong if we can earn the name of lord if we can meditate on lord's name then definitely we can also be little bit more strong we we'll able to handle the situations we need to remember jo aaya so chal si sab koi aayi var jaye whatever we have it will go some day somehow that is for sure so but we need to try we need to take care enjoy all those things till the time we have but not too much attach we need to keep this thing in our mind our life family and things will go some day but for that we need to do more practice we need to do some seva remember the name of the lord then definitely slowly and steady wins the race slowly slowly we need to try the more we are detached or the more we are satisfied the more we are acceptive the less we suffer because whatever happened or whatever will happen happen we cannot change it jis thakur syo nahi chara taako ki jai sad namaskara we know nothing is in our hand 
so what we need to make a nature of acceptance we need to be acceptive then definitely we can walk on the path of almighty every day we are trying if we are listening lectures that is also a thing that we are trying if we are going to gurudwara we are performing any kind of seva if we are giving even a minute of a day still we are trying so what i will say doesn't matter if we are spending 2 hours or 4 hours or 6 hours at least we are giving some time so that is also much needed that is also the way the thing that we are walking on the path if we are giving some time to listen to kirtan katha or paat even if we are doing japji sahib or sohila sahib if we are not able to do anything at least we are coming in the sangat and giving our 5 7 minutes that is also good but the thing is we must try we must walk on the path of almighty so what key points that we discussed today domestic attachment is too much we are so much attached to all other things but we are not attached to naam we are not attached to gurbani we are not attached to seva and simran so some attachment is needed in that field as well and the people who thought leaving family is a solution no leaving your ego is solution i me and myself is a problem wife son health wealth money nothing is problem but getting too much attached to things so attachment is a problem ego is a problem so never think if we can leave our family so then we can live happy it is never like this we must take care we must fulfill our responsibilities बन से सदन सब कर समझो मन ही माहे उदासा लिव इन अ फैमिली एंड फ्रॉम देर ऑल्सो ओनली यू कैन बी डिटेस्ट देन यू कैन बी असेप्टिव बाय गॉड नीड टू रिमेंबर ऑलवेज नथिंग इज परमानेंट दैट विल हेल्प अस टू ग्रो स्पिरिचुअली एज वेल एंड डिटैचमेंट इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ अवर लाइफ एंड वी मस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम द स्टोरी ऑफ पाई पेखारी जी एंड वी मस्ट कीप praying to god for his blessings he may give us that much kind of strength and power so that we can also be more happy acceptive and receptive so this is the these are the key points thank you very much for joining and one another uh, information is there that special english talk about khalas to khalsa how did sikh became singh how did sikh singh and the concept of khalsa is there in sikhism that we will discuss at central sikh temple vadda gurudwara at level 4 15th of april friday and it is going to be physical session it is going to be physical session in the afternoon near about 2 pm so subject to change time little bit may be difference but almost is subject to change but maybe 2 pm so 15th of april friday physical lecture we will give about khalas to khalsa sik to sing sing to khalsa we will talk about it and we will have discussions about it as well so i would request all the sangat member whoever are from singapore so must join keep this date noted on your calendar 15th of april so request to all now i am again once again thanks everyone for joining our today's lecture now i'm giving option to unmute yourself if you have any questions if any thought came in your mind so that is not your thought thought is given by lord thought is given by vahiguru ji so whatever is coming in your mind so i would request you all must share so that we all can get benefit from your point of view if any experience any personal experience or if you want to contribute if you are memorizing any gurbani quotation so somehow or anyhow however, however you wants to contribute request you all now one by one you can unmute yourself and share your feedback suggestions and contributions ji once again thank you everyone for joining and giving your precious time wahe guru ji ka khalsa wahe guru ji ki fateh हां जी एनी संगत मेंबर हु वांट्स टू कंट्रीब्यूट हां जी
हाँ जी करतार सिंह वैगुरु जी का खालसा वैगुरु जी की फतेह मास्टर जी वैगुरु जी की फतेह जी करतार जी अह अटैचमेंट एंड डिटैचमेंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू वर्ड्स इन आवर लाइफ लाइक यू सेड द होल वर्ल्ड इज इन्वॉल्व इन अटैचमेंट बट वी फॉरगेट टू डिटैच इफ आई वांट टू थिंक ऑफ माय सेल्फ आई वुड से दैट वी वर अटैच फ्रॉम द डे वी वर क्रिएटेड we were attached to the umbilical cord in our mother's stomach so how to be detached when we came out we were attached to our mother we need nourishment from her we need her love as we grow we had our family we had our siblings school youth friends working life marriage wife children so all this attachment is needed isn't it we can't grow up alone but honestly i grew up alone because i was the only child mm. so with all this attachment we come then comes the worldly things that we want in our life that is to make our life better we need all these things to survive without this we cannot survive in this world this is our basic needs attachment is needed that is my opinion because no man is an island we can't do anything alone everything yes. we need to attach with something because we need to depend on something it's for that attachment we go forward to progress because we want to show the attachment that we can do this we can do that right but we also need to understand and have, have the knowledge of why we are becoming attached or are we becoming too greedy what is it is it to impress the others or to show off our status or is it to reach our goals what is it is it our pride once we have achieved we walk around in pride we feel the achievement we are so proud you know shati kadde ke to de apasina ji ईगो इज दे I feel it is not a sin to be rich but it is very sinful if we are rich only with money and nothing else. On the other hand I also feel after all this so when do we draw a line of contentment when will I be satisfied when am I going to say I have enough I'm contented I'm willing to let go when are we going to say that for that we need the knowledge for that we need to detach but how can we detach by remembering our creator if we forget him then we have forgotten who created us so we have to remember that he is the one who created us gave us the intelligence created our fate and destiny because if he was not there to hold your hand you would not have reached this success that okay. is something we all forget because we can't see god we can see everybody because we want to show off to them but we can't see god so we forget him and there is another thing that we forget is that at the end of the day absolutely nothing belongs to you nothing goes with you not your family friends money or assets and even i would say i myself so many years i accumulate so many things only now i realize when i am gone are my children really going to keep this thing or they say this is all old style things and they will throw it out so why did i waste my life accumulating all the wrong stuff instead of her being attached to god and accumulating prayers values and good deeds so that that is a mistake 
slowly we will realize if we our mindset changes it is very difficult to be detached but we can be attached with everything within limits and also attach to god uh, also understand why attachment to god is necessary we can both of these can go hand in hand we just need to understand where to draw a line when to become a bit detached for at the end of the at the end of uh, life i think or at the end of everything what really matters in life is our contentment our satisfaction our peace and our faith in god for without him we are nothing absolutely nothing and we must also understand that all these things can go off in a blink of an eye your life can be just puffed out and who exactly. will go with you nothing only the only person who is going to go with you is your soul your lonely depressed hungry soul why because we are so busy feeding our ego we forget to feed our soul a very very difficult emotion to explain to understand but a very much needed knock to awaken our consciousness very beautiful subject of attachment and detachment very well explained by you master ji this is what i understand from it and thank you very much master ji for sharing your thoughts with us thank you very much thank you very much kartar korchi you really spoke so nicely so well and i was actually really loving to listen you you were saying so beautifully everything is needed qurbani and guru ji is never against about wealth just we should not forget the one who is giving everything to us we just what we do daat pyari visriya datara so that should not happen in our life and very beautifully you contributed thank you very much katar ji thank you very much master ji han ji any other sangat member who wants to share their views whatever god gave you if anyone received any thought so i would request you must share han ji any other sangat member who wants to contribute ji han ji hardeep ji हाँ जी वाहू जी का खालसा वाहू जी की फतेह हाँ जी दिस अटैचमेंट एंड डिटैचमेंट इज नीडेड इन आवर लाइफ एस यू हैव डिस्क्राइब्ड इन योर लेक्चर बट वी मस्ट नो व्हाट वी शुड बी अटैच टू एंड व्हाट वी मस्ट डिटैच आवर सेल्स फ्रॉम सो गुरबानी हैज टोल अस वेरी क्लियरली that our aim should be in life to be attached to god especially in the last two lines al jal bikar taj sab mein har guna nit gao so that should be our teaching and our philosophy in life but it's just that we all our life we tend to be attached to a lot of things and then only when we are older or we listen to these lectures and then we realize that we have unnecessarily attached ourselves to too many things which as kartar ko say we can't take these things with us so the lesson is don't be too attached to things but remember god and praise god for all that we have thank you very much thank you very much for your contribution and for your complimenting and feedback hardeep korchi हाँ जी एनी अदर संगत मेंबर हु वांट्स टू शेयर द व्यूज हां जी एनी संगत मेंबर इफ एनी थॉट इज कमिंग टू एनीवन्स माइंड हां जी कुलदीप कौर जी वाय गुरु जी का खालसा वाय गुरु जी की फतेह या लवली इवनिंग लिसनिंग टू योर लेक्चर एंड लिसनिंग लिसनिंग टू ऑल द थॉट्स ऑफ our band here yeah. and uh, yes what shall we say attachment and detachment a 
attachment, like you all have said very, very nicely, is a very necessary thing, you know, from the womb to our deathbed, you know, we are attached, attached to Maya, attached to Mo, attached to family, attached to money, attached to things, attached to everything. The intensity of attachment, which we don't sometimes realize, is the intensity of the attachment that gives us trouble. Because that is when, when our mind just is unable to control, we have no insight, and we just get carried along with the waves. This intensity of attachment is the root of a lot of problems. It can cause depression. It can lead you to depression when you lose something. It can uh, sort of... Uh, make you even murderous. You can go up to the extent of committing a murder because of your intensity of the attached emotion, emotion of attachment. So too much of attachment is a problem. At the same time, total detachment is also not good. You know, if you are totally detached, then you are careless, you are irresponsible, you are become selfish, you become egoistic as well. So both things are problematic. Welcome. And Gurbani here, as you very rightly, you know, and appropriately with good uh, and appropriate shabda and quotations, it's like a reminder check, like a reality check. It makes us pause and makes us think it gives us insight that truly, you know, are we making this mistake as well? And what should we be doing actually instead? So these kind of lectures are actually very informative. They kind of uh, prick us and they are thought provoking. And then we begin to wonder, that, are we also caught in this intense and vicious cycle of attachment or not? And if we reflect and introspect, and then we realize that perhaps we are, or most likely we are, you know, it's just a, a difference of intensity and grades. So all these quotes, you know, which uh, our gurus give us are so, so appropriate. Giving sab apna ek ram paraya, you know, sab kush apna samjh ke te vai guru asi pul gaye hai gaye hai, you know, so sanyasi, jo satgur seve, vichon aap gawai. So these are very, very, uh, what shall we say, very suitable quotes and very important quotes which set us thinking and which at least helps us, you know, get away from this intensity of attachment which can destroy us, destroy our family and destroy everything. So it's like a reality check here. And uh, I, I came to, I want a quotation came to mind, an English quotation. Simple living and high thinking are the best of human beings. So here Gurbani is also actually teaching us along these lines, you know, that simple thinking, simple living, you know, ultimately is a good kind of living. It, uh, it keeps you in balance. It checks you, you know, with the pros and cons and uh, put you along the steady path. So, yes, I think it's a good lecture we had and a timely reminder as well that attachment, too much of attachment is bad, bad, bad. At the same time, total detachment is also uncalled for. So we have to strike the middle path. And uh, Gurbani is the reality check for us, gives us all these messages to start, to start, you know, set us thinking. And uh, hopefully we can uh, abide by these teachings and uh, sort of uh, manage to control our intensive desires and our intense thoughts. Vaigurji ka khalsa, Vaigurji ki patte.
Ji, thank you very much for your contribution and sharing more Gurbani quotations and sharing your point of view. Thank you very much, Kuldeep Ji. Exactly, completely detachment is also needed. The one who left their family, they also came in the same point, completely detachment. They were completely detached from their family, went far from the responsibilities and went to forest and hills. But Guru Nanak Sahib Ji and Gurbani is not accepting that kind of detachment as well. We need to live in our family, do all complete, all kind of all responsibilities, whatever we have. So, while staying there, we need to reach to the position of detachment. As Gurbani says, Sakal Taram Mah Grest Pardan Hai. So, Grest is much needed. Never think about to leave family. So, Sanyasi just thought in that way. They became rude to their family members and left them. But Gurbani wants us to stay with family, take care of family. And while staying there like a lotus, we need to live life uh, like a lotus. And it's easy to say, easy to listen, but it's really very much hard to be practical with the same thing in our life. So for that, we need blessings of Lord. So we must keep praying, keep practicing, keep meditating and remembering the name of Lord. Thank you very much, Kuldeep Ji. Hanji, any other Sangat member who wants to share something? Okay, request you all, please unmute yourself. So we all can say Fateh together. So thank you very much once again to everyone for giving your precious time. Let's all say together. Bye, Guru Ji. Bye, Guru Ji. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Master Ji. Thank you, Ji.